Hello there, everyone. This is Andre, your Game Idea Guy. Thank you once again for lending me your time and your ear and listening to another Game Idea that will work on the Wii U. And this time, it's a not-so-beloved Metroid game, uh, Metroid Other M. <clears throat> now, firstly, I will say my gripes with the game have nothing to do with the gameplay. The gameplay in that game is spot-on, it's fun, it's frantic, it's amazing to me. The gameplay is great. My gripes with the game were the long cutscenes and the very drawn out and boring self monologue of Samus. Which I heard was actually quite different in the Japanese rendition of the game because I think they may have changed the way certain things were said just to kind of match up more with an American audience or not American audience but a westernized audience rather than how she was portrayed towards a Japanese audience. Now, <clears throat> in, uh, in all honesty, this game was really made and geared to be more for the Japanese or the Eastern gamers than it was for a Western audience. This, this, this game was more or less for those peop the people that, like, you know, read into, like, the Metroid manga. I have yet to. I've, I've got to read that manga because I've heard it's pretty. It's actually pretty good, but I haven't read any of it. So th that's who this game is basically to geared towards, and it's really. And I know people don't want to associate it with this, but it's really a sequel to Super Metroid, and it's not. Again, from a gameplay perspective, it's not a bad game. Like, yeah, the way the story was done is a bit arbitrary and it's annoying. But it's, it really, if you play the game for the game, you're probably not going to have much of a problem. The, it's not like every, like every five minutes you're getting thrown into a cutscene. Like, um, what game was it? Metal Gear Solid 4? So it's, it's not that bad. At least not in that, in that way. It's not that bad. Like you're just going to constantly run into, to, uh, Cutscenes, and, and the bad thing is, I actually still want to get Metal Gear Solid 4 and play it. But, <clears throat> again, that's one of those things where it's just like, I think people kind of went overboard in their exaggerations of how bad they think the game is. And honestly, I think a lot of people haven't played it. <laughs> to be personally truthful, I think a lot of people have not played that game. And I, I'm going to say that because of recent news about. People, people were clamoring for Fast Racing Neo to be the F-Zero game that we don't have. When in all honesty, Fast Racing Neo doesn't play much like F-Zero. It plays more like the game Wipeout, like that series of games. Um, <clears throat> but in the things that it does have that are like F-Zero is fast cars and difficulty. People are, people are, people are, people are docking Fast Racing Neo points for being difficult, but they claim they want an F Zero. You don't want F Zero because F Zero has never been easy. There may be easier modes, but F Zero has never been easy. So that to me says you haven't played it. You're saying you want to play it and you think it's this great thing, but you've never played it. I've played every F Zero game but the arcade one, which was AX. And the one that was released released in Japan that never came over here. Those are the only two I have not played. That's how I know I'm a fan of the series. Um, but casting that aside, I got off track here. I'm supposed to be talking about Metroid Other M. <laughs> now, <clears throat> that game really actually did utilize the Wii Remote very well. You played the game... With the controller sideways, yeah, you didn't have your analog and it was in 3D. That was a bit annoying. I'll admit that. That was a bit annoying. But to be able to point at the screen and then get the first person view and you can make your shots more accurate, I was definitely up for that. I'm like, I liked that a lot. I liked that feature. Um, I also didn't like having to stop and hold the Wii Remote up to recharge your health instead of just getting health drops. Yeah, that was a bit annoying, but it didn't really make the game bad is just an annoyance <clears throat> but then again i'm one of the people who played and beat castlevania symphony of the night in japanese for the sega saturn which had all the slowdowns and had 
like screen tearing and glitching and stuff like well not screen tearing but it had glitching and it had a lot of issues but it was still a good game at its base if you're understanding what I'm saying now follow me here follow me with the Wii U gamepad <clears throat> now I, before I even say it, before I even get to the Wii U gamepad for this game I would like to allow two modes one, a Wii Remote mode where you play it just as it was before when it came out with the Wii Remote Solo. And then I'd also like to have a mode where you played the game with the gamepad. As, and hear me out on this. When you're playing in the 3D perspective, when you're running around doing all of Samus' parkour stuff, you're going to play the game like this and you'll have a map screen down here your map and um inventory and health would be right down here the hud would not be on the main screen whatsoever it'd be right down here on the gamepad <clears throat> and then to enter first person mode instead of just holding it up toward the screen you'll hold the zl button which would enter into first person mode and then you could either aim with the right analog or use the gamepad to aim and look at your gamepad screen as your um basically copying in Splatoon, but using the gamepad screen to aim in first person view mode. Which that would be pretty that would actually work pretty well. Which which would take away which would take the uh the map off your screen, obviously. It would take the map and inventory and stuff off your off your gamepad screen so that you can see it in first person view on the gamepad. And I think that will work out perfectly fine. That'd be perfectly good. Um, I would say take away the stand and power up thing and actually give normal health drops because honestly, stopping to power her up and she can only get like one um, thing of health from doing it, like she get one tank of health from it. At least as far as I remember. I mean, it could you probably could have done more, but from what I remember. She can only get like one tank of health and that was annoying as all hell to me. Because I'd rather just kill a bunch of enemies and have them drop the health and keep my pace going in the game. Rather than being slowed down to have to stop and charge up. Or if I have to deal with a boss that's going to be hounding me throughout the, throughout the area that I'm stuck in. I don't want to have to stop, stick her arm up to refill her health. That's, it's again, annoying. Uh... <clears throat> Yeah, like the story, the way the story was done was kind of annoying, and, and like she had all of her equipment, but she was restricted to not use it unless she was given the prop, given permission from, uh, I think his name was Adam, yeah, Adam to to use it, and she like Samus is dedicated to that. She's wholly dedicated to that and putting herself in super dangerous situations. So, I mean that to me. It's, it would fit. It would work out well. And this is one of those games that I think it's deserving of a second chance. Not because I personally think it's a great game. I think it's a really, I don't, I don't even think it's a great game. I do think it's a really good game. But I also think many of the people who bashed it and trashed it never played it. Or at least weren't even interested in playing it. So, I mean, almost it's almost as if the Wii U is a clean slate. So, for a lot of um, a lot of games, and people want a Metroid game, this would be a good filler game to, to do it over like that and give people something else to play. And I know like, people will say, hey, I don't want any more remasters. But like, you know what? We're at the point... <laughs> <laughs> We're at the point where remasters are everywhere. A couple more of certain games wouldn't hurt. Now, my problem is remastering stuff that popped up at the end of the life cycle of one console in the beginning of the life cycle of another. We're past that point. There's, there's, we're, we're well past that point now. There's no point in even complaining about it anymore. We're we're definitely well past that point, so <clears throat> that that's really what I've got to say on it. 
Like, I, I think Metroid of M could... If it was done that way and they had proper health drops, health and um, power-up item drops like that, that'd be fine. That'd be perfectly fine. And it would breathe a little bit of fresh air back into that particular game. Because, honestly, the combat and the action in the game are fantastic to me. It's just definitely lacking in the, the story department. And hearing Samus narrate to herself on a constant is annoying. <laughs> it is annoying. It's all heck. Oh, and then allow skippable cutscenes. Oh, gosh, yes. Please allow skippable cutscenes. That's just... Ooh. Cause, uh, um, when you're in a situation where you die right after a cutscene and you just want to... Like, you know, get back to what you had already done. It'd be nice to be able to skip them. That would be very, very nice. And as far as I remember, you can't skip them in that game. Yeah. But, that, yeah, that's, I'm, I'm, it. I'm done. That's it. Thank you, everybody, for listening. Keep your eyes and ears up for more of my stuff. And until the next time, enjoy your games. Peace out.